What is up, YouTube? Uh, Lazy Lama here, and here we are back with some more clicker heroes, of course. Uh, grinding along, it looks like we've come to a dead halt. I haven't actually um, applied any of these in, so we might get to get a little bit of progress, but honestly, it's probably only going to be a couple bosses if so, so we'll kind of chill out for a minute uh, and hang here for a sec. I, I doubt that Guilds is going to add much, and it doesn't. I don't think we idled much past it just chilling kind of at that max point. So I think this is the way we're going to do it. Um, still not doing the best on rubies. Um, honestly, I feel like I haven't really gotten, <laughs> gotten lucky. We've been getting like a lot of no rubies, I feel like. Um, yeah, be, we might not even beat one more boss uh, with the way that timer took. So we'll be good. Uh, I just, I don't know how long it's going to take to get to, I mean, every run is just going to be slower. I mean, every single push we do is going to take forever getting to ace, I feel like. Um, like, I'm just trying to think of look at ace's gold in comparison to where we're at. I mean, this next upgrade really doesn't do anything for us, so <laughs> we're just kind of chilling on Yak Akil here till we can get that amount of gold. And without any other big bonuses, we're not going to be able to push much past this each run. Um, and in all honesty, it's going to be a real slow grind, I feel, pushing past this and having to do a ton of ascensions with low rubies. But again, I say low rubies. I mean, this is going to go really fast. Uh, I think, honestly, the eight hour into the, the week is the best way to do this. Um, I think we're going to get the most efficiency out of it. I don't know, though. Um, I feel like the eight hour last time didn't put us in a, the best spot, but as we get farther and farther into this run, it's going to make more sense to do the eight hour into it. I just feel like we didn't get nearly enough efficiency out of the week run. Uh, is the only thing I was concerned about, um, and I was trying to think if there's a better way to do it. I don't know if I was an idol last time. I may not have even been an idol, and that could have did it, I guess, obviously, but... Uh, it should have it should have worked. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out here. We're gonna do another kind of test with this. Uh, I feel like it's definitely the best way to to go about this. So just kind of max that out and go through here. Get everything max, of course. Uh, but I hope everyone liked clan the clan overview that we did. We're gonna be doing that, like I said, weekly now. So um, if you haven't checked out, you know, the video over the weekend, uh, make sure to check it out. Now uh, the clan overviews are gonna obviously be on. I'm gonna try for Sundays still. We're not calling them Clan Sundays because they're not always gonna be on Clan Sunday anymore. Uh, I'm I can't necessarily promise that, so probably shouldn't even go for max on that yet. Be completely honest. Get all the upgrades. Uh, we got to get everything imported in. Um, I guess we can open all these guilds uh, and then kind of go here. Ooh, what am I doing? Way off. All right, let's get that saved. We can get this imported. Uh, should have a. This should be a the last really decent push we get uh, as far as hero soul jump goes because we, we went up a lot of zones there um, we did go up a ton of zones but I feel we're just not gonna go up a ton now almost as we don't have any other big upgrades because we got that final upgrade which helped out a ton obviously uh, make sure I get these all right Again, I feel like almost every time we do this, we mess up on, or I mess up. So we, and, and yeah, we're not doing any better here, by the way. Um, we're on two recruitments, like, this is bad. And the 8-hour will at least flush that out before the week comes. I just hate how inefficient, this, I wish we had one good ruby so I could just keep doing 8 hours to farm rubies. I miss the old farming with Arthur. It was so nice. Because it would be more efficient to do 8 hours all the way through with, like, Arthur, for example, because we'd be getting rubies the whole way through, rather than just doing a week. And it was so nice, and I miss it so much. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, it's a relatively big jump. Uh, it's kind of what we've been getting the past couple couple runs, though. It's not really that significant. Uh, meaning, every run, you know, after this probably really isn't going to be that much higher. And like I said, I'm just going to do these kind of one at a time so I don't mess this up although I think Mammon and Mimsy are the same right yeah they are uh, get those guys we're gonna hit more glass just in case we're gonna make sure everything else basically gets what they need uh, and any mess ups into more again I know I didn't do Pluto before but that's cool with me just kinda try to keep it even we definitely did it right this time so uh, again, that's if I messed up any other times, which I don't know if I did, but uh, we are golden on that. Uh, now it's a matter of just trying to, let's get a, no, see, we're not, just not getting rubies. Not getting rubies out of them. Kind of get these maxed out, and just because the way I like to do it, let's max this out as well. Which is it. Uh, see, I feel like that's the same exact case as last time. Tour, again, it's bam, 
for anyone who doesn't understand how these two work, the Tomb Guardians, it hasn't been following along too much. Uh, basically, um, Kaidu's bonuses boost his CS. So basically, this boosts him, this boosts him, this boosts him, and this boosts him. So we should be gilding into Kedu as basically our main main source of damage here. Uh, so we'll come in here and um, pop that there, which we really didn't necessarily need to do that. Uh, again, we're only going to do an 8-hour time lapse. I just feel like the week time lapse following isn't super efficient. Uh, I and mean, if we do anything less, it's going to take forever to make progression. Um, I almost decided this, this uh, run we'd take a slower approach at things, but... Extra life. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky. We didn't we just have a rare extra life that like died like five minutes in. Uh, yeah, let's get you on a twenty-four. Get you on a two-day. I mean, the long quests are what we want. I am gonna take the ruby quest, however, on you. Uh, we'll take the two-day into the uh, sixty-minute week quest. Here it comes. I could do the five-minute waited, but uh, it's pretty late at night. Oh, look at that. I mean, it doesn't really matter for this part, but uh, we are. Moving, moving over. Again, the eight-hour really doesn't matter how, how it goes. And a lot of those quests actually aren't going to work in eight hours, which I kind of forgot about. But basically, we're looking to get that extra gold. We're actually we're going right back, which I find kind of humorous. Um, actually, let me see. Yeah. How close are we? Pretty far off still. All right. So we're gilding back into... I should have just waited because I really didn't need any guild to that first part. But uh, <laughs> oh, really? really? This is what I mean, though. This type of stuff happens. It's a level three. At least we have someone else to go send out to recruit the weak quest we're doing, but we'll see how this goes. I mean, I guess this is the best bet, though. I still feel like I could do this a little more efficiently. It's just my rubies are basically gone already. The lag on the weak. I don't know exactly what a weak quest should get us to. Like, the exact number of max efficiency we should put us at. But I feel like it's... I feel like it's probably still the most efficient just because of the cost of it, like ruby-wise, and we're not making rubies out of the quest, really. Maybe 524k is right, actually. That actually might be right. Maybe we are doing it right. 600k. I think that's what we did last time, though. That might actually be right, though. I just like to get all the upgrades for everything. Uh, but honestly, we are on to the beautiful maw anyways, so it doesn't matter. Uh, popping them all. I'm just curious how much more. Like, if I had the rubies, I mean, I'd keep going, obviously, but we're just going to kind of chill with it. Uh, we lost another one. Really, dude? You can't. That's the guy that was recruiting. You couldn't just give that to me? Really? You couldn't? At least we got the rubies, but like. Down marks again. No good ruby quest. Come on, give me another ruby. It's like the five minutes. I'll be up for another five minutes, sure. We'll make that work. Um, I really don't care, but man, that is, that is sucking. Um, I don't know if the boss has been killed yet. It hasn't. Let's go, let's go kill it real quick. It's some overkill. Uh, we have some other members who've actually been able to kill it, so I haven't really had to pay too much attention to it, um, which has been pretty nice. I don't know if they can overkill it crazy. I'm assuming they probably can, as the immortals are, are kind of pointless in, in this, you know, in the game now. Um, I really wish they would up like the scaling on them or make them better or something of that nature because they need some changes big time um i mean the bonuses don't do anything and even if you're at like even if i could barely kill this thing the amount of like heroes i get would be basically nothing uh which is just you know it's unfortunate i mean but if you if you look at how much i can claim how many heroes i have it's it's nothing it's might as well just give me one hero soul or have no no hero souls like <laughs> it doesn't doesn't make a difference to me uh, but anyways, I'm not going to be able to have time to energize everything up tonight. Uh, but we'll get you energized, get everything clicked, as it'll last pretty much just forever now. Um, next Ascension, I'll probably do the leveling on all these other guys and see what we can get them to. I think we did it last time, so I kind of want to wait. Um, I am going to just keep leveling these guys up, just see kind of how high we can get those as we continue to push on. Uh, I still haven't done the math to see exactly what zone we can push to, but again, it really doesn't matter too much. We are going to push pretty far in... Um, on this whole you know total run um we'll be breaking into claiming some ancient souls sooner than later we are approaching our highest zone uh highest zone ever would be here this is our little trial thing we did with tree beast but uh yeah i mean we're, we're approaching it about 100k away do you remember when we got to that point it, it went fairly fast in the previous update but i think it's gonna go slower 
to be honest, uh, in the current update because you can't use this anymore. And for anyone who keeps suggesting using Quick Ascensions, look what I actually claim with this. No matter what zone you're on at this point in the game, this doesn't go up from this point for me. Meaning, um, it, it's basically the same thing. It's kind of giving me one hero soul. Um, it doesn't do anything. I mean, my hero souls are so much higher that that is absolutely nothing. Uh, which is why you can't do that anymore. Past a million, it freezes at that number, basically. Uh, we can only get a couple more ascensions in with our current rubies. We really have to get lucky. And, I mean, this dude um, here could definitely be saving grace. I mean, if he lasts, you know, 20 lives without using the sexual license, and we use the sexual license and lasts 20 more, we'll be able to get some good farming off that. But, is that going to happen? Probably not. My luck has been absolutely terrible. Uh, which kind of sucks. I mean, this is kind of cool to see as well. Um, the recruitment speed, 8%. What it actually cuts off of it, it's kind of neat. Um, you can actually see how much it cuts off. Uh, and for anyone who's here back during the Transcendent days when we had the Transcendent Merc that was recruitment speed, saw those 8 minute, I think it was 8 minute. Was it 8 minute or 22 minutes? I think it may have been 22 minutes and then it, I'm thinking the 8 hours that, of questing XP you get. We were like leveling up super fast on a <laughs> on one guy a while back. Uh, I don't even know what episode number to point you at, but... Um, we did have a Transcendent Merc in the past, as well as we've had a Legendary Merc, um, Arthur, which most of you guys, I think, know about. We talk about him, even to this day, quite a bit. Uh, he's, he's a god. He's a legend. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, make sure to check out the video, hopefully Sunday, um, if not, probably Monday or Tuesday next week, uh, at the very latest. But I'm gonna aim for Sunday, um... Check it out. Kind of goes over all of our clan stuff. Just kind of a clan overview. Talks about everyone in the clan. Um, you'll get a mi like mini update on kind of where I'm at in my current run. I'm not going to go over that much. But uh, yeah. And anyways, if you guys did enjoy, smack the like button. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.